a good evening everybody how you guys doing today um so i'm on a recording frenzy because i didn't want to originally do this video only because when i heard that the people who made tower of fantasy are the ones who made this game i was instantly turned off by it because i am one of the few people well one of the many people who were burned by tower of fantasy and i have ptsd from that anyway anyway uh some of my friends they told me you gotta watch this you gotta look at this so i'm gonna do it and i figure if i'm gonna do it i might as well make a video out of it right so neverness to everness is a game that is a gotcha game that's supposed to be coming out um they they tell you on the whoops they tell you on the uh youtube that Neverness Everness is a supernatural open world RPG developed by Hoda Studio. So, open world RPG. Uh, I do like supernatural things. I, I, I do think that a game, a game that has supernatural elements would be interesting. So, I figure they got two videos up on their uh, YouTube. Let's just go ahead, jump into it. Take a look at it. No cuts. Um, we're just going to go straight into it. And then I'm just going to tell you my honest reactions as I'm progressively watching it. Right. So let's go. Okay. So character designs. It's not bad. Like her character design right here. That's very basic. Very plain. Um, it's, it's mid, you know, I'm, I'm gonna be super critical. Let me be honest. I'm gonna be super critical because, um, I just, they've hurt me. I have PTSD. They've hurt me, but yes, let's just go ahead and go into it. So, I mean, this one right here is not bad. Um, you got the uh, the ears, cat girls. You gotta have your cat girls. Um, I like the design a little bit of the outfit. It's pretty good. It's pretty well done. The gloves looks pretty good. The little bag right here. Cleavage. Cleavage. But you know, this but this is not bad. I like the little the way the hair comes down here. I do enjoy that look. No. I don't know. I think the horn is cool though. The horn is cool. Okay, so you got your standard chibi with the this weird ghost thing. That looks pretty cool. That looks pretty cool. But no. Her hold up. I like her aesthetic. I like the colors. I like the black and pink. I love the colors. I like the ears. Um, I love the tie. I like her whole aesthetic right here. This is pretty cool. I, I'm, listen, my girlfriend's kind of like, it's kind of goth. And um, I got a thing for goths. Okay. So like, I have an aesthetic. Okay. I like her a lot though. I like her a lot. Not a furry. I'm not a furry. Okay, so the motion looks really rough. That motion blur is killing me. I would instantly have to turn off that motion blur. Um, that looks rough on my eyes. I get motion sick. But I would instantly turn off the motion blur. I do like these this navigation though through the city um this the, the environment's fantastic i think the environment is really really good like i really love this environment i don't like the animations but from what i heard i heard the game is like this is like beta so this is like early early beta or something like that um so things can change but I love the fact they have the NPCs all around here. Like, it makes this environment look lively. 
I love this. I hate her animations more. I definitely hate her animations. The other girl though looks looked so much better. But these transitions into these buildings is pretty cool. I think that's pretty cool. Um, I haven't seen no loading scenes screens yet. So that's always a bonus. No loading screens is always a bonus. So far, I'm I'm impressed with the environment. I'm not impressed with the character um, act, the motions and stuff. Yeah, I'm not impressed with the character motions, but I am impressed with the environment. I am impressed with the like going into these buildings. Like, like it really does feel like you're go like you're going, you're traversing the city. I think that's pretty cool. Oh wow, that transition was. Oh wow. Oh wow. So that whole transition right there, like, like, that was cool. Like this right here is like, oh, you know, boom. I'm guessing like you're about to go into spirit world. And then this transition, again, no loading screens. That's pretty, that's pretty good. I mean, of course, they got to work on the animations on these walls. You know, this looks so choppy. Um, am I, even, let me just see, maybe, maybe it's me, maybe it's me. Let me see. Um, yeah, I'm looking at a 1080p. Uh, I can't do 4K mode. I don't think I can do 4K mode. That transition, though, like that whole transition, I love that. This looks pretty cool. This definitely gives that supernatural look. I like that a lot. Again, though, the transitions, like the the like, I'll show you what I mean. So, like this right here, that bothers me, you know. But again, I'm it very well just could be me. Um, let's go back down to 1080p. Yeah, like this right here, I don't like the way this looks. But again, this is beta, so I gotta, you know, I'll be a little bit lenient on that. The that monster doesn't really impress me. The trash cans don't really impress me. The combat is okay. The combat's okay, but it doesn't impress again, it doesn't impress me. The, the effects of the lightning is pretty cool. That right there, the little cutscene, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. But it's still, again, I, I feel, because it's that beta, I feel like it's that choppy. Look at that transition again. That transition is so good. They killing it with the environment though. Like all this right here, I love this. I love all of that. And then that transition again. I love all of this. That's so cool. It gives you that feeling that you're, you know, you're in the spirit realm or supernatural. I love that. That's cool. Okay. So, what we can gather is like any other. So, like any of these other gotcha games, what we can gather is is that you can have up to four people on your team. Each one has like a different element. So, you know, if you look at each character, they all have like different little settings right there, like right here. So they have a different element. Uh, we don't know what the elements are going to be. Um, I'm hoping that the elements stay stay to the the supernatural themes you know i can i hope they do that you know they don't do the typical earth fire i got i actually would i actually would not like that 
there probably are, but I would not like that because I want something different, you know? And like, this is a supernatural game that involves like ghosts and stuff. I want them to like really think outside the box and, and create just create different something other than earth, fire, water type stuff, you know? Like maybe psionics and magic, you know, just something. Like just give me something. <laughs> I like her so much. Like, she is. I definitely want her. I love that. I love that. So, I mean, so far from what I've seen, her animations are the best. Her animations are the most are most appealing to me. And then these transitions again are so good. So now you close the door, you close it, and now you're back in the real world. That is. Beautiful. I think that's awesome. I love that. I love the way that looks. I love the way that feels. Okay, so you can parkour. You can parkour. Okay, that's cool. Double jump. Oh, shit. And you can get into a car. So you can traverse the city by driving. Okay, okay. I like that. I like that. That makes it so you don't have to be running around. I, I think that's awesome. I'm glad that games are coming out now where there's actually ways to traverse and to travel through the game. I think that's really good. I think that's really good. Um, Weathering Waves kind of set the bar 100% when it comes to like moving around the map. Even though they're only doing things like um, running up walls and gliders and stuff, I think Weather, Weathering Waves set the bar. And you can interact with the environment. That's good. Okay. This right here might have sold me. This right here might have sold me. A uh, long time ago, back when I was a little yet yeah, a little lad, I used to play Need for Speed all the time. Um, Need for Speed Underground was like my, one of my favorite games, and being able to customize my cars and everything like that and race, I love that. This right here sh shows me that not only can you customize the vehicle, like so, you know you got these customizations for the vehicle, which is really awesome. But then if you look over here you can actually increase the stats of the vehicle, which means that the vehicle stats are probably going to be important for some things. Like maybe there's uh, going to be racing in the game, so that way you can race. And if you remember with um, Tower of Fantasy, they did have some sort of like races in that um, where you could race other players. So I think this right here is awesome. I like this a lot. Um, so the, you're... I, I feel like the, the type of cars that you get that you're able to access matters. So this is a form of customization that I like a lot. I wonder if this is going to be, um, I wonder if they're going to do this where you're going to have to, you know, you know, you can get in-game stuff and mods and things, but you can also spend money. And if you do spend money, is it going to be only for cosmetics or if it's also going to be for like being able to build stats? I hope they do it only for cosmetics. That's what I hope. Mm -hmm. Because if they do it so that you can spend money to get like extra stats from like parts, that will irritate my soul. That'll irritate me. Put the, sp put the spoiler on, change the car color. Put the decals on. I love it. I love it. Boom. Have your car come right out the garage. Ready. I love it. I really hope they don't make it. I, I really hope they don't put like a paywall to the cut to like the um the parts in the car. That would suck. But like if you do customizations, I'm cool with that. You know, buying some customizations, but I'm not cool with like, you know. Spending money to get a faster NOS than other people. 
And you got the music playing. Always, always a joy. So this is Leon, Leon Estate Group. Estates. So I'm thinking like built. Yeah, you can actually have a house. You can actually get a house. Okay. 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 So you actually can purchase. You can actually custom purchase a house, which means probably you'll be able to customize your own place, which is pretty cool. And you actually get to drive over there to your new place. I really am enjoying the world. I think the world looks so good. Like, I really do. I think the world looks fantastic. So that's the place that you bought, because I remember them saying Eden, so. They really made it so that you can, like, you got a, what's it called? They really made it so that you really got, like, you feel like you're in the world, you know? To make the elevator go up, you gotta go push the buttons. Like, you really feel like you're in the world. Is that the dude from Reverse 1999? Mr. Yeah, Mr. What's his name? Mr. Apple? Yeah, anyway, I didn't like Reverse 1999. It was okay for like the first three days, and then I got tired of it. Okay, so this is the house that you bought. I wonder if this stuff was already in the house, or did you add it to customize it? If you add it to customize it, that's awesome. I mean, it's still awesome even if it's still in the house, but like... But this looks nice. Got yourself a swimming pool. The, the the view in the background is you know whatever, like I, like they like they say in the bottom you know work in progress does not represent the final quality which is good, which is good. So you're gonna have okay so you're gonna have um, weather effects okay okay. Weather effects is always good. Why is it raining on one side of the apartment but not raining on the other side of the apartment? That's weird. Oh, wow. So she did some skill with Mason so that she can. Oh, wow. So you can wall jump and then the, the, the you see like that, that seamless transitions of like the angles. I like that a lot. And then you got yourself a glider. I'm impressed. So far I'm impressed with this video. Jump right back into your car. I like the weather. I think the weather, the weather effects, the water looks pretty good. You know, it's going to look better. I mean, I feel like it's only going to look better because, you know, like they say, like this is not, this is not, you know, the final. Game content display, please follow traffic rules. The interacting, look at that, getting a knock poles down and stuff. Okay. You can go with the need for speed type view. That's pretty cool. I like the water on the ground, the reflection. That looks really good. The light streams. That very neat for speed. Okay. Whoa, what is that?
Is that like the... Is that, is that, the, is that the fucking... Is that Ghost Rider? But he's just... Uh, that's so cool. But he's just like knocking over buses. And like he's interacting with everything. That's... Okay, okay. Oh yeah, totally Ghost Rider. Totally Ghost Rider. That's interesting. Okay, so that right there, like that tells me, like this right here tells me that that since you're in the car, you're going to have like scenes where you're going to be bad. So that shows me why your car has those stats. Is that there's going to be some sort of combat in the car while you know going against other people like the you know the biker they might have like a truck like truck coon oh my god they might have truck coon <laughs> I swear if they put truck coon in this game that that will it's just out there isekai people that would be so amazing um but this right here like this shows me that there's going to be characters and like things like that where you're going to be interacting maybe in like some crazy races in order to beat them or some sort of combat where you're just bashing into them um but this right here it kind of shows me that i hate to say it but they impressed me i hate to say it but neverness to everness impressed me that was impressive um bravo so bravo to them um hoda studios bravo to them for creating a really good announcement trailer uh three days ago yeah i i'm i'm impressed i'm impressed i think that was really good um let's take a look at this shorter trailer right here let's see what this is Oh, so this is just like a cutscene video trailer. Hello. I like it. Let's wrap this up. And it's in English. Okay. Okay. That's cool. I like that. Interacting with subways, okay. Why couldn't we see these characters? Like homegirl in the back seat and this girl right here? Like why couldn't we see these two? Like I wanna see oh man. I like that design. Nothing goes wrong. I like both of them. What the heck is that thing? It's all yours. She has angel wings. That's cool. She has a motorcycle? Bruh. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. So, I think that's my favorite character. She's hand down my favorite character. She's my favorite character so far. Oh my goodness, like her. Like, what is up? Why can't we see her? Like. Oh, 
That was pretty funny. Don't forget the rush fee. Thanks. Metal all you want. Count me out. How about we work off some calories? So it kind of shows like factions. Like maybe there's like two different factions. I like her. Okay, so you got some male characters. He looks pretty cool. Oh, she actually she actually does something. Okay. You can go now. I really do appreciate the English voice acting in this. I think that's um very good. So like this is this just shows how big the world is so far. Like what they have. Like that's a really big world. That's a huge world. And it says sep So September 2024, be ready for more. So we're gonna get more information in September 2024. That's that's really good. I actually am excited for this. I mean, look, Hoda again. Like I said, Hoda, Hoda kind of they kind they kind of burned me before, but this right here does not look like the people who made Tower of Fantasy. This looks like a whole different team. This is like a whole different everything. I gotta admit, I'm I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I actually really can't wait to get my hands on this. I can't wait to see what they say in in September. Um, but yeah, that's my initial first reactions. Um, that's my actual first take. Um, shout out to my boy Yenithi for encouraging me to watch this. Um, I am, I, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. So yeah, guys. So I will catch you guys in the next video. Um, if you guys want to look at more, if you got any questions about never to everness, or if you want to see more content about this on the channel, please make sure you guys, you like, you subscribe. Um, subscriptions really help me out. Uh, I'm trying to reach the goal of 1000. We're trying to get 1000 subscriptions guys. If we can hit that goal before the end of the year, that would make me ecstatic. That would make me so happy. So yeah, I want to do more content on this. I'm excited about this. This is actually looks good. Uh, but yeah, I will catch you guys in the next one. Y'all take care of yourselves. Peace. And, um, uh, yeah, be, be good to, be good to each other.